together with the Association for Education in Journalism and Mass Communication. The Scripps Howard Foundation presents the Charles E. Scripps Award for excellence in the teaching of journalism and mass communication to Jennifer George Palalonis, Ball State University, Muncie, Indiana. It's been said that Jennifer George Palalonis is such a high achiever, overachievers pale by comparison. Even her personal life is a testament to efficiency. At least that's what everyone said eight years ago when she was pregnant with her first child and gave birth to twins, Gage and Quinn. Since earning her undergraduate degree from Ball State University just 17 years ago, she's held top design positions at newspapers in Detroit and Chicago and redesigned 29 other publications. A 30th, the Philadelphia Inquirer, will be sporting a new look this fall, thanks to Professor George Palalonis. But what does this have to do with being a standout teacher? Everything, actually, because it was through her work as a visual journalist that she saw the emerging field of multimedia journalism and knew she wanted, make that needed, to help prepare the next generation of journalists. That passion drew her back to Ball State in 2001, where her teaching and research have defined multimedia journalism for academia and the communications industry. Whether you find Professor George Palalonis on Amazon, at Pointer, in a classroom or a newsroom, or at one of the professional organizations she serves, including AEJMC, you'd be wise to listen closely. The visionary who sleeps just four hours a night isn't dreaming about the future. She's helping to create it. While the industry is catching up with the need for multimedia storytelling and students are learning to work across multiple platforms, Professor George Palalonis has moved on to transmedia. Don't worry if that's a new term you don't understand. She's co-authoring a book that explains it, tells how to teach it, and how the industry can use it to engage consumers through animation, data visualization, and other iMedia technology. If, for example, you're using your handheld mobile device to access television programming or buy tickets for Saturday's game, you may want to thank Professor George Palalonis and her iMedia students for their groundbreaking work. And someday, when you're participating in an interactive newscast, remember this teacher and her students who developed one of the prototypes. Last year, her Ball State colleagues voted her Outstanding Teacher of the Year in recognition of the innovative courses she's developed, curriculum she's created, faculty and students she's mentored, and the influence she's had on the university's strategic plan. It joins accolades from the Broadcast Educators Association, the Society of News Design, and many others for helping teachers and professionals embrace the future. But it's the extremely high ratings her students have consistently given her and the careers they've gone on to enjoy that give this educator her ultimate satisfaction. Today, she heads the sequence at Ball State where she earned her first degree is looking forward to her first sabbatical and to receiving her doctorate in informatics. Tonight, she's receiving her second check from the Scripps Howard Foundation. Her first was in 1995 for a scholarship she received as, no surprise, a high-achieving journalism student.